Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting video. My name is Balaj Badrinath and I sell premium and luxury real estate across Bangalore with Kodal Banker, the world's largest real estate firm. Please click the subscribe now button and click the bell icon so that I can notify you whenever I post exciting videos such as this. Today, I'm in a very cool and exciting place. Going to talk about in length of home theater systems and automations. I have a good friend, Mr. Nagendra, who runs a very cool place of home theater and automation system in the name of Sonic Hi-Fi system. Nagendra joining us. Hey Balaji. Hi. I'm so glad you could make it to <laughs> showroom Sonic Hi-Fi, home theatres and home automation. Nagendra has been very passionate about uh, music and uh, home theatre equipments and also automations uh, lately. What brought you to the music and uh, you know theatre divisions? Long story but quickly, this is how my house used to look when, when I was uh, working okay. in a corporate. I always love the music, love the speakers, amplifiers, good music, good jazz. My life was that. So, see how cool it is. I can explain you so many lovely things here. Amazing. Some of the best equipments that you can find anywhere in Bangalore or in Karnataka. That's all housed in Sonic Hi-Fi Jainaga. I don't know anything about speakers or the amplifiers or some of the crazy equipments which I have never seen in my life. Why do people listen to, why do people invest so much? What is your take? See, we have uh, multiple segments here. This, what we are looking at is pure audio, which means there is no video in you know, involved in this. There are people who love to enjoy music. There are many types of home theater, but what we specialize in is custom home theater, which typically goes into some uh, high-end uh, homes where they really want to experience some of the best cinematic experience, be it the best video, be it the best audio, or be it the ambience that goes with it. And that is where I will show you inside, <laughs> there are two rooms. We take them through the process of how they can choose the equipments, the design, and the experience overall together. That is where, you know, our effort goes into properly giving them the experience. What are these uh, speakers all about? I've never seen such speakers in the general appliances store. Looks fabulous and where do you get these speakers from? And what are their uh, features all about? These are all used in home. This is okay. a pure home audio. Uh, we also have a commercial segment, but this is all home audio. And there are speakers that are invisible. There are speakers that are go that goes behind the wall. There are speakers that can be seen and enjoyed. And if you want that level of experience, that's an equivalent of audio here. These are speakers from uh, Italy. As you can see, it has the you know, imprint of an Italian design, the masterpiece of an Italian design called Sonus Faber. This is all made in Italy and they have a philosophy of giving the sound that is as good as someone performing in front of you. That is when the higher end speakers go into, uh, you know, it actually has to reproduce the best that is natural. No add, no remove. It has to sound the natural way. A pianist should come out from the speakers if it is a piano, likewise. So this is a smaller sibling of Sonus Faber. This is a speaker from France called Davis Acoustics. This is handmade in France and this is a golden ear technology. You know, these go, different speakers go well in different decor. Some of these go well in a living room next to a large TV. Some of these go also in a living room or in a home theater. And uh, you you look at this, these are the amplifiers. We also do turntables, the vinyl, the, it's again coming back, big resurgence there. And uh, this is something that that is a 160-year-old company called Macintosh. Anybody who knows high-end audio would know this. The blue meter, the color, everything is uh, so world famous. Across the globe, people love it for its sound signature as well as its looks and feel. So this is all made in the US and we get it from there. And these are all multiple uh, usage, you know, speakers. You can carry it, you can, you know, use it in a different room. It's all in one player, again from Sonus Faber. And we have some other range of speakers, uh, you know, if there is a, uh, you know, kind of budget constraint, but still want to get the best value out of it. We have some speakers that are, uh, you know, uh, sourced from different parts of the world. Okay, Nag, fabulous. Never heard of such brands in my life. Definitely going to cost a lot. Would you like to put a figure to it? Would you like to tell us about the price range? Sony, the Onkyos, the Marans, Yamaha, Denon, they're all very good brands and we do, we deal with that. You know, if you go inside the home theater room, that comes in a different segment. They are very good value for money. Where we are uh, specialized in is this high end, true high end. It is going to be expensive, but the experience is going to be so thrilling that you will never look back. Just to give an idea about uh, pricing, this is all in one. You get some of the sound bars as low as 10,000 to 12,000 rupees, uh, but they don't sound the way these uh, speakers sound. And uh, the moment you listen to, you will you'll get awestruck. And this speaker, for example, since you asked about the pricing, this speaker from Sonus Faber is called Omnia, and this is at 2.35 lakhs per unit, and you can extend. And the uh, amplifier, this is, see this, this is a tube hybrid amplifier. This cost, this just, just drives two speakers. This costs 5,90,000. 
just for the two speakers. Then if people want to upgrade, like they, they, they you know, go higher and higher, the better braking system, tires and everything, people upgrade to pre and power separates. So Macintosh pre, uh, this is about 5,65,000. Macintosh power amplifier, this is about 12,50,000. So just for the two speakers, it's about 18.5 lakhs. This is from Sonos Faber. The model is called Olympica Nova 3. Why someone has to spend? It is not everybody's taste. You know, there are some people who just listen to and say, I'm happy with it. And there are some people who will be looking for that, searching their lifetime for the best sound that they have heard. That has to be so natural. Those who look for that, they would like to go for this. There are some customers who, who spend very small amount on a car, but spend 10 times on a audio system. There are some customers who want to go for the best and there is no limit. There are amplifiers. Yesterday we were quoting that was about 22 lakh per one amplifier and we need two amplifiers and people who are really passionate about it will get it. And people who are luxury conscious, they also are the customers for us. Mm -hmm. Fabulous to know about your options when it comes to listening uh, music. What do you have to offer us when it comes to an immersive experience in a home where we can set up like a theatre? So, come on, let's take that Absolutely. experience. Please come. Here is where, uh, you know. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's exactly what we want to create oh, wow. for your home. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can explain you a little bit more in detail. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, with the TV, living room is all fine. But if you want to have the best experience, usually, you know, architects also would suggest to have a room like this. And what, a dedicated what is a, what room. What is the size of this Dedicated uh, room. room. Yeah. We have replicated exactly something that is most common uh, with, uh, you know, some families, modern families of four to six people sitting and watching. This is about 12 by uh, 22 so uh, feet. maybe a typical uh, living room size. Yeah. Living room size. Typically, yeah. what we have seen is this is the size that, hey, okay. We are four or, you know, maybe two of us, our friends would come in at the most eight people sit in. And that is exactly what this room represents. Um, can you take us through the nitty gritties of uh, designing a home theater? All we have to offer is consultation when the planning happens for a home or a villa. You know, that is when uh, we discuss and sit with a client and architect and designer to figure out what's the occupancy, what's their taste, how they want to see the home theater. Is it only for an uh, villa or independent home? This can be set up in a apartment also we do this uh, this can be set up in an apartment we have done uh, many in Shavanti Oak Ridge for example there is one uh, dedicated uh, room that is set up and we have done the home theater there uh, and you know it also goes into cineplex mini multiplexes in uh, in big villa complexes but uh, for a typical home yes ideally you need to have the dedicated room where you come and experience you know take out your hustle bustle of life and you know, spend time with your best movie, best music, whatever content, sports you want to watch. We create a space for that. The planning starts with what is the room size typically. And uh, that's when the design starts and, you know, they lay out and we help them how it should come up, where the entry door should be. All that nitty gritty is we help them uh, because later we cannot change we cannot that. change, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and as we say, give us four concrete walls, concrete ceiling concrete flooring and we convert that room like this you know this room is completely done with acoustics ambient lighting automation but the most important thing heart of the home theater is a projector and the sound system okay and that is where uh, you know the the budget can go to any extent Okay. There are projectors. This is a 4K projector. A good home theater projector starts from about 90,000, a full HD projector. And a proper 4K laser projector go, can go up till one, one and a half crores for a larger room. Which is more suitable, like, you know, a ready-made LED television, which is people prefer or you suggest them while setting up a home theater or a system such as this uh, kind of a, a projectors? Honestly, we never recommend a TV in a home theater room. I see. Uh, we recommend, uh, you know, either a large screen active displays, which can go up till 120 to 150 to 220 uh, screen width sizes. TV is ideally not recommended because at the most you can go currently 90 inches TV, which can take you to more than 10 to 12 lakhs. But they lost longer is the perception that many clients have. And projector lamp may last only for four, five years. But the laser projector goes 10 years without, you know, going uh, faulty. So now is the verdict television or projectors? It's not about verdict. Absolutely in a home theater room. I know as you can see, that's a 120 screen. Hmm. And imagine uh, watching on a 120 screen versus watching on a 90, 90 inch TV. Huge difference. But the bigger the screen in a, in a particular environment, the thrill is more. Can you tell us what is there exactly in this uh, setup? Yeah, see, uh, we were talking about the screen uh, size. Uh, this is a 120 inch diagonal screen. Of course, there are a lot of options. You have a manual pull down, 
you have motorized uh, screen. If you have something to display on the wall uh, when you are not watching a movie, then you can use the motorized screen. But otherwise, we recommend a fix fixed screen, less hassles, the best picture. 120 inch screen, there are, uh, you don't see any speakers here. Yeah, that's what because, I was wondering, where are the yeah. sound is coming from? Yeah, this is an acoustic screen and okay. many client and architect prefer, you know, the speakers to be hidden. Right. So the speakers are you know, behind the screen, mm. uh, this is an acoustically transparent uh, screen. Mm. So speakers go behind the screen mm. and even, so this is by the way, this is a Dolby Atmos 7.2.4 uh, wow, uh, home theater setup. Sounds crazy. Uh, it right. needs an amplifier that is capable to drive that kind of a configuration. So these are all the Dolby. amplifiers? Yeah, these are the amplifiers. There is a Blu-ray player in here. It's also connected to Apple TV. And okay. there is a subwoofer here. There are uh, three speakers behind the screen hmm. and there are four uh, speakers in here. See, these are all in-wall speakers and this is in-ceiling Atmos speakers. And awesome. you have the recliners, right? And you know, oh, so notice where, where, all where the, is the visual coming from? From this projector? This is from this projector. Right okay. now it's a JVC NZ3 4K projector. It's a laser 4K projector. And this room is completely acoustically done. Okay. There what do, what do you mean by do acoustic? Acoustics. It's basically to make, you know, in a layman's term, it is basically to make the sound more precise hmm. to avoid echo, hmm. uh, to get the best uh, effect, uh, proper effect. You need the acoustics you know, to control the echo, to give that bass uh, enhancement, to give a proper sound dispersion and everything. And that is where the acoustic comes in. And uh, lighting just adds to the, you know, ambience. But acoustic in many ways, you know, there are many types of acoustics. We follow a very traditional but most proven acoustics which is proper framing of 2 inch thickness to 4 inch thickness. Let's talk quickly about uh, some uh, part of acoustics. Yeah. There are many ways to do it but proper professional acoustics needs a diffuser, absorber, reverberation, all of them have to be factored in, in an acoustically treated room. And this is a you know, crude example of what happens, you know, assume we have the concrete wall hmm. and this, this goes on the bindwood, the MDF layer, the gripper to hold the fabric and mm. this fabric can be of any color, any choice from the interior mm. a designer or an architect or the end user client. Uh, you know, we have multiple colors and shades that can be as per their choice. But the, the core is it has all the acoustic material filled in. You know, if without this, if you clap, you will hear you will clap back quite a lot of echo, not good for the sound. Uh, when you do all this, you will get proper uh, sound effect, you know. Uh, that is where this is very important. There are, you know, you know, if it's a smaller room, you know, we may do a little bit of partial acoustics to save the cost. If it's a larger room, we suggest do a proper full-fledged uh, acoustic. When you talk about the cost, I think many of our audience would be wondering what would be the cost for setting up such a beautiful home theater. Now we understood the size, we understood what all the components goes into uh, designing and uh, executing such home theaters. So would you help us? Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. With putting a cost to such uh, creations. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. that is when the decision happens. You know, mm -hmm. you know, we definitely have to be upfront with costing. For this room, what we have, uh, yeah. what we have uh, set aside uh, is a budget of uh, 18 lakhs, uh, which includes in a in a 12 by 18 room uh, a very good Dolby Atmos 7.2.4. Uh, with 4K projector and 120-inch screen, all the acoustics done and with this three recliners and lighting and automation, everything, we can do, you know, typically uh, from a range of 12 to 22 lakhs. And then, you know, of course, there are speakers, projectors, we can go up, but at least an 8 to 10 lakhs is a bare minimum to get the best sound and cinema experience. This room shows it all. When you say uh, top-notch, mm -hmm. do you have anything more to offer or oh, yeah. is this all absolutely we have a lot more to offer come okay. a lot of clients would settle in for this room which is uh, you know this is our premium setup where the moment you walk in uh, you know they should feel like i need to own this it's more you detailedly know, that, done. that that mm. kind of a setup and uh, you know so the tell us more room, tell us more about this uh, setup yeah this room is uh, about 18 feet uh, by 28 feet 18 uh, by 28 28 okay. Uh, in terms of room size, hmm. height is about 10 feet and okay. it has two so normal steps, ceiling height. normal ceiling height okay. and you know, uh, that's what we have done but we can do uh, different uh, sizes I and can this see is meant this, for uh, two rows down. of seating, you know, yeah. eight people can comfortably sit. Hmm. We wanted to show just the, uh, you know, sofa if they want to sit casually and talk and then watch. Like the or colors. they can also yeah. have the recliners in front. Hmm. Uh, this is, uh, you know, very high end uh, in terms of even the fabric used, the lighting used, 
Hmm. And most importantly, the Sony 4K projector. Uh, Looks like a monster. Uh, this domain. is a 160 inch diagonal screen. Hmm. You asked about a TV. Yeah. There is no TV that, that comes in this Nothing size. Nothing can match this size. Yeah. There are LED uh, walls and all that, but then they are very bright. Of course, it's evolving, and a lot of people are using that LED walls also in their home theater. But this is a proper uh, projected uh, screen. When you compare that room, which we just came up, uh, came out from, you know, the speakers are completely hidden. Here, I can see some monsters lying mm -hmm. on the floor. So, mm -hmm. what are these, and where are these from? Yeah, there are a lot of clients who like to see uh, speakers. Mm -hmm. You know, it is like I want to see that, I want to feel it. You know, that's that's the type of uh, setup this is. And these speakers are again from uh, Italy, Sonos Faber. Everything is handmade. Hmm. I know they come with 8 year warranty and all that. Uh, and this, uh, these are JL Audio subwoofers, some of the best subwoofers they manufacture, made in US. Mm -hmm. And we have the RCAM amplifier, processor, this one. power amplifier. Mm -hmm. So a lot of uh, uh, you know amplification goes into the larger room. And uh, that is when it makes not just the room bigger, the sound bigger, the cinematic experience feels bigger. You feel like really a difference between, you know, a kind of a, a smaller room setup to a larger room setup with large screen and everything. I mean, we have switched on the light for the video, but this this picture quality will be awesome when we, you know, actually watch with lights uh, turned off. And uh, you know, observe this. This is a better carpet, more thicker carpet, uh, luxury. You know, everything in this should feel luxury. The light, the color, shade. These are all aesthetics and the projector is Sony 4K, uh, you know, uh, very good uh, 4K projector and you know, we have in this, we have uh, 7.2.4 again with a larger amplification, larger power speakers and larger screen size and better 4K projector, 7 seater. Awesome. This is definitely a splash of uh, luxury, I would say. And, uh, you know, predominantly all these uh, home theater systems would also come with automation. We are also telling yes. our, us about uh, automations. What do you mean by automation? Yeah, I mean, one part is the entire home automation where, you know, you, you uh, integrate your security system to monitoring system, to your background audio, to the home theater, hmm. to your geezer, AC, everything is uh, app-based. Uh, we do that. So, Internet of Things. I Internet of Things and mm -hmm. you know, you can control it from every any, anywhere, all that. That goes into the entire home. But in a home theater, typically automation plays a role where you just need an iPad or your phone to control. You know, just walk in, the lights turn on by itself. Relax and sit on a chair and say, I want to start a movie. Everything slowly turns off. Uh, you know, projector turns on, amplifier turns on. You just have to start with whether you want to watch from a Blu-ray or a Netflix and everything else is taken care of. And the call comes, you know, it pauses and let you speak. All that can be done in an automation. Wow. See, there are so many lights and you don't want to, you know, sit and go switch off every light. Yeah. You know, the experience is better if you have automation. Now there are very cost effective automation that comes in and it's, it's actually no brainer to, uh, you know, you should have that part of the home theater. A good home theater should have a good automation. You know, that gives you the feel of comfort, luxury, and you know, you can control the way you want to rather than, you know, stepping up, switching off the lights and switching on the amplifier, switching on the projector, all that can be avoided. Hey Alexa, play Kantara 2. Sorry, I was just kidding. <laughs> you should. I mean, switch there is from... no Kantara 2, Nag. <laughs> yeah, KGF 2, it, it, it understands that you are trying to tell KGF 2. Probably, maybe. Wow. They will, maybe. Is One that day. Is, that's smart. One day. Okay. One day it might do that. Another fabulous setup. Given a choice, I would definitely choose this kind of a setup. Tell us about the overall budget spent on this uh, setup. This represents, I uh, know, typically for that room size and the luxury. This starts with 38 lakhs, bare minimum 38. for this room. And then there are projectors that are much higher cost, speakers, amplifiers that are much higher cost. We can go up till a crore and a half for a, for a crore room Crore and a cost. half? Oh, yeah. There are projectors, screens, you know, you, you there is every component that could can upgrade uh, and it really shows. I mean, the best part is you can experience that, you know, with pre-appointment, we set up system that is 35 lakhs, we set up system that is 60 lakhs and then show the difference. Customer can feel, uh, I know if they really want to spend the best, we have the experience to show and they can decide based on that. It's not based on what we say, it's based on what they hear and see. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea of our, uh, you know, demo process. There are speakers, like I saw, Macintosh can also be in a home theater amplifiers 
and you know they have manufacturers of amplifiers and top end speakers and one can set up that also in this type of a room you know the you know there is a fun element to this you know there are a lot of family comes in to select fabric the color it's all all you know kind of once we understand the budget set aside we help them see for example uh, they can check all the color what color carpet i want <laughs> it's all fun we give them and go out family can right. decide and then we will help them which may sound better and all this fabric samples these are all external factors but these are very important this has nothing to do with better sound experience but this is to do with the aesthetics so can i say that from the point the moment the family decides to go for a home theater mm -hmm. uh, from the design to execution to this stage mm -hmm. everything you will carry out everything inside the room is carried out even so all you we have ac vendors four walls uh, to you know the lighting everything there is nothing inside this room that we cannot do so everything that helps you know many clients and many architects feel i don't want to have the headache of following up with so many different people and we have the team to do everything end to end proper turnkey awesome so friends uh, you heard nag saying covering about the music systems the speakers the amplifiers uh, uh, the home theater uh, projectors the screens carpets acoustics and uh, what not i always felt that uh, you know a home theater when you come and sit uh, people don't really observe what and all goes into a creator creation of a home theater but rather they get immediately immersed on the movie or a you know series i have been selling homes uh, for over a decade now and the homes yeah. which has a beautiful home theater have sold faster compared to the homes which doesn't have point to so, be noted so if you have a independent home and if you have a space to spare i think you must go for a home theater and definitely don't worry about the budget i think uh, nag is here to help us with uh, completely customize uh, uh, the home theater it depends on uh, your budget without much stress so uh, let us cover some of the basic uh, stuff uh, how to start when to start when we think about uh, uh, having our own home theater you know you can take us through the process Absolutely. involved in a creation of such home theaters sure. building of such home theater suppose if uh, if i am building a home and i have a space to spare how do i approach you uh, how do how do we start i i mean we work on a lot of references you know a customer who has got you know projects done from us will refer the ideal time is when they are designing their home the the architect uh, architecture and the design of a home and they set either wish floor either the basement home theater or they need a home theater next to the pool or whatever that decision has to happen during initial design and that is where uh, we have to be consulted because we can help them with you know lot of factors involved what is outside what is inside what is next to the home theater room lot of factors need to be considered whether we need absolutely sound proof so that no sound goes out all that factors we help them uh, manage in the beginning and you know once the room is set a uh, design is set uh, it is just uh, that they have to carry on their construction and when the room is ready with concrete walls that is when we enter automation wiring has to be done there are two types of automation wired and wireless for a wired automation we have to do along with the concrete so everything has to be ready wireless automation can be done when the structure is ready uh, and our actual work starts you know all that budget planning everything after it's set aside our actual uh, work starts when the uh, you know room is cured and concrete is ready and interior starts typically for a room size of this 18 by 28 a good time to consider is about 6 to uh, 12 weeks to 18 weeks from the start to finish wow. and uh, you know that goes with the interior design team and before that we have to do all the selection of design all that once that is done we take care of uh, electrical inside the room automation the lighting concepts everything and then start the paneling work um, so the start of a design is very important to be involved with to set uh, aside what de what design they want how big the home theater room is and once that is done uh you know uh, where the entry should be should the, should we have windows or not all those discussions we help them on what is the advantage of one over the other and then then they go <laughs> to the construction and then we will be quiet for a longer time and when the room is ready with concrete walls we we get in two amazing. months and then you have this uh, amazing. you know amazing i would uh, definitely i would definitely would love to have such uh, things i'm sure many of our audience would love to have such absolutely. setup thank you so much for taking us through the complete details about uh, building a home theater uh, having a awesome uh, music uh, systems this room not just for uh, movies they you know you can enjoy some really good music without having to switch on the projector right uh, you know 
everything can be done. Awesome. Friends, you uh, saw today the complete setup of a home theater. You saw what and all goes into building a home theater. And you also watched Nag demonstrating uh, some of the finest aspects about a speaker and uh, from which country it comes from, what are its features. I think a lot to know about uh, things. People need to come and experience than seeing just the brochures. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. I think you loved this uh, topic today. And all I would say is comment what you felt about this video. And if you want to get in touch with Nag, I'm going to pin his uh, email ID or maybe a contact number which you can reach uh, Nag and his firm Sonic Hi-Fi Systems which can completely customize uh, a package for you guys. Subscribe to our channel and put a like button if you really like this video and which will motivate us to come out with further more exciting contents. I will see you in my next video very soon.